Let, uh, let's talk about the Peter Principle. So the Peter Principle is a concept in management theory which was formulated by Dr. Lawrence Peter in his 1967 book, The Peter Principle. And it suggests that in a hierarchical organization, employees are promoted based on their performance in their current role rather than their abilities, which will be relevant to the new role. So as a result, employees will continue to be promoted until they reach a position where they are no longer competent, as skills in one draw don't necessarily translate to another. The principle highlights one of the key flaws in many organizational structures, because it implies that competent employees who are very good at their current job will eventually be promoted to and then stay at a position in which they are completely incompetent, which can result in decreased effectiveness and productivity within a business. So, for example, if we take a highly skilled engineer who's fantastic at their job, they might be promoted to a managerial role because of their engineering expertise. However, the skills that made them a really amazing engineer, such as attention to detail or proficiency in technical skills, might not translate into management success, because management requires an entirely different set of skills, like team leadership and strategic planning and people management. So one proposed solution to the Peter Principle is to recognize and reward excellent work without assuming that promotion is always the appropriate reward because we see promotion into management and leadership as a reward for doing a good job in the current job that you have. And invariably, most management positions, most people are promoted into management positions and told, well, well done, you're a manager, manage. So they finish in their position on a Friday and they start in their new position on a Monday without any sort of leadership training. But, you know, if if, um, if we created uh, different pathways for, for advancement, which allowed for increased prestige or compensation and responsibility without requiring employees to move into roles like management or leadership, that require a drastically different skill set, then we would have a happier workforce, we would have better managers, we would have better leaders. And you wouldn't reach a situation where the higher up you go in an organization, in some cases, the more incompetent the people become because they've been promoted into those roles without any specific skill set for them. So that's the Peter Principle.